Hello. Welcome back to the 1,000 person colony. We're all going to die. In fact, one colonist has already died, and there another one just now. There are several people trapped in the mountain. They landed there in drop pods. I don't know how really, but they are still in there. Like I said, we're probably doomed, but we continue to manage the ant farm until that day. We sleep, we plant, we work, and we enjoy nature, and we pick away. Today, I will build defenses along the outer perimeter, because last night, my friend Radamont on Discord was trying to explain to me how a mega raid is headed my way, using math. math. And science. science, we can expect to see a large raid. So one major problem with the colony is that if I wanted to equip everyone with a weapon, I would need to manually equip 1,000 weapons. I don't want to do that for obvious reasons, so I'm going to work on our strengths and do what we do best by building power lines. Yes, under wood, judge me. I don't really have so many options here. We're going to build power lines along the entire outer perimeter of the colony. We'll have to smooth out these walls. They are rapid in construction, these people. They finished off this entire steel walkway in a matter of minutes. So once we get this in place, then we will just build turrets all along this outer perimeter, pretty much right in a row. And then if we're ever attacked, we just send everyone to bed. I mean, at least it makes me feel safe. There we are. Everyone smooths one wall tomorrow. Good job, men. Look, they've already got so much work done on the power grid. Camaraderie will pull you through. I'm realizing an Another problem with this colony is that, uh, we're getting both colonists died times two and my friend guy died. Everyone technically in this colony is friends with each other. Not only are they all identical clones, but they consider one another friends. This means that everyone that dies will ripple throughout the colony because they are all love one another so much. Because they are all created in each other's likeness and image. It's like a colony of 1,000 Teletubbies all crying out in pain for the one lost sheep, the one prodigal son. They are truly too pure for this world. And if this is to be their end, I will give them horseshoes before they die. That should be enough to keep about. A hundred of them entertained at once. We've created research. And we finally uncovered the dead bodies. <laughs> so there were two colonists in this cliff. Their sacrifice was not in vain. Oh, we can't have them all digging up the bodies. It's time for a crematorium. We're just going to have to gloss over this incident. No one go in there. Now on to a new mining adventure. And as much as things could be better or feel more secure, we still haven't experienced a single mood break. Everyone's having a great time, but I'm starting to see the folly of this strategy. You see, the fact of the matter is that we're going to need to deconstruct every one of these corners and put a turret in its place. This will handle most of the threats. We'll go every other one to start. Normally I would go in our hallways, but that would cause the turrets to blow up and destroy the dining room. I'd rather that they destroy the bedrooms, because the bedrooms are just easy. So here we go. On with destroying our bedroom. On with bedroom weaponization. Who couldn't sleep soundly knowing that a turret was between your bed and everyone else's? Oh, that's... That's interesting. That is so interesting. Oh, not- Well, this is gonna destroy the entire colony. So you thought you could win, Cassandra. It wasn't a military threat. It was one of morale. This is going to be bad. This is going to be very bad. I have only one choice. Everyone needs a bedroom now. This could mean the difference between life or death. The ones who have awful bedrooms get the five buff, and we're going to need to wait five days to get rid of these other mood debuffs. Then the catharsis will be felt felt across the colony. Do you want to play this game, Cassandra? Oh, we can play this game. Yes, we can. Firstly, no one is allowed to leave. Uh, we're walling you all in. Drugs. All of the drugs. As far as the eye can see. You may call it cheating. I love myself, and I want to make it to the first raid. And we can't live with this. Arrest him. Arrest him. Arrest him. Arrest him. Everyone join in. Good. Good. We have, def we have downed him. So here we begin the world's greatest party. Oh god, they are all heading for them. Come on in, everyone. Get some. Get some. You love them. It's like a hash convention. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, this is like my sophomore dorm. Oh, come on, get some before you fall apart, everyone. You can hear it. Listen to the sniffing. Listen to the sniffing. They're so happy. This is... This is like a Woodstock mecca. Look at these teenagers coming in droves to see Jimi Hendrix perform. 
And this one guy is just coming over to insult them. Okay, one of them has an addiction. This is fine. You know, we'll obviously we'll be getting a couple of addictions. Just listen to the sniffing. <laughs> Someone has overdosed. Oh, how many did you have? Someone- good, pick him up. Get him out of there. <laughs> Just look at the haze that's come over this entire region. Somebody's going into a daze. I think that's because of a poor mood, though. That's because he didn't get to the drugs in time. Everyone has stopped working. There's no one left in the beds. No one at the mines. Everyone is... Okay, we have a couple of tantrums. Don't d destroy any of the drugs. I'm sure it'll be fine. No experiment has been done quite like this in RimWorld history before. But I'll let you know one thing. We prevented a lot more pain than could have happened. Look at all of them leaving. Now, what are they like when they're leaving? Oh, this guy is so glad. Sure, we'll lose a few. But overall, it will be a good thing. Just ignore all of that. Stop your hating. And start celebrating, sir. We will reform him. Alright, I think we've nearly reached the end of this, uh, massive, just mass hysteria. We'll have a few addictions, but, uh, I accept it. Rome wasn't built in a day. These guys will be so happy for, uh, 24 hours, and then we'll probably have to send them back there again. Now, I've also given them both Smoke Leaf and Psychite to offset the effects of each one. They are moving both faster and slower at the same time, so it's roughly the same speed that they began at. And we've avoided most of the violence. It seems like the concert is ending now. They still- they didn't even really go for the beer, they went right for the heavy stuff. But at least they have a few more days to quell this. In the meantime, we can prepare, um, two dining rooms so that they will eventually have something that will sustainably keep their moods up rather than just this, uh, short-term win. Okay, the, the the sniffing is dying down and the panic has subsided. It looks like a lot of people are just insulting other people. I'm just gonna let them go for it because I'd rather not deal with the injuries. I know it has a domino effect, but there's plenty more psych IT in Smoke Leaf. They can handle it. Guy couldn't reach Guy. Oh, where was Guy anyway? So he decided to redirect his anger at Guy Archer. <laughs> Oh, we still have a couple of people trapped in the cliff. In particular, I'm most interested in this colonist. If this isn't already modded into the game, someone should create this mod. I've also decided to just leave the injured out in the open. As long as nothing is bleeding, they'll recover in time. Yes, you will. Unfortunately, my FPS do seem to be dropping again, so I'm just going to go to the bathroom. I'm back, and nothing has changed. But the dining room looks good, and I want you to think of this playthrough more as a slideshow than a... Um, video. Think of a- think of it like a historical presentation of things that led up to the Geneva Convention. I think my favorite part about this colony is the places that people are choosing to sleep. This guy's just trying to find some peace and quiet. Even the animals have found unlikely companions to sleep with. The lion shall lie down with the sheep. Unfortunately, there- there has been a death. This man's left arm was destroyed by another man's left arm. That set a domino effect that caused him to die. Speaking of dominoes, we're going to begin work on a series of chess tables. This will serve the dual purpose of both recreational variety and fun and ingenuity. It's like Washington Square Park, but it's a crime. Just listen. If you listen closely enough... You don't need the Twitch ASMR category anymore. RimWorld. Far dirtier than anyone ever heard it. I think I'm going to need to give RimWorld a little bit more time to catch up with all of the orders I've given. It has overloaded the game. There are several people dying in the fields, just lying there. But I won't really know about it until it happens. I also believe that we've run out of wood. And I think that it's slowing down the game to have all of these construction orders here without actually building anything, so... That's right, I'm going to give them the wood. Just for the sake of speeding up the game, because right now this is actually real-time performance, it's a little disturbing. Let's just give them as many resources as they need, for God's sake. Whatever we can do just to see what type of event or raid Cassandra will spawn for this sort of astronomical wealth. Which is apparently dropping, I don't know why. I know you're going to judge me for this, but uh, yeah, the game is practically stopped running now. It was good to begin with. Yeah, I'm at 2 FPS again. But I don't consider that a failure. I consider it an accomplishment to have brought this amazing game to its knees. Three, four, seven, back down to four FPS. Clearly it's due to the amount of activity going on at once. I can still scroll well when I've paused. But hold on to your hat when I unpause. Pause? Unpause. <laughs> Look at that. Maybe it's because there's so many orders being designated and it's just too much for the CPU 
core to handle. I legitimately don't know here. I'm just going to cancel all of the construction orders and see if this makes a difference in our fates. Cancel everything. Don't- no one do anything. Just sit at home and lie in bed. Don't go to work tomorrow, just do absolutely nothing. Okay, that's great. My computer's getting warmer. And it started again. Okay, this just might be enough frames per second to see what's going on. I'm not quite sure how much slideshow vision I can take. You give me few options, RimWorld. I'm actually going to need to install RimThreaded, which uses more CPU threads. Except RimThreaded and Rocketman are both competing to be last in the load order. Um, we'll just have to try it both ways. <laughs> oh, the irony, they both want to be last. Supposedly, they're incompatible. I don't know which one. Pick your poison. Okay, we'll give this a shot. Now we need to find out how many CPU cores I have. Open the performance tab. Eight cores. RimWorld is really not using up all of my CPU cores. That's a shame. Let's change that. One to two per CPU core. Let's double that. And let's see if this works. Mm, it doesn't really seem to improve anything. Okay. Mm. We're getting somewhere. Now, see that number down there? TPS, that means ticks per second, and it means how fast the game is running. 60 means it's running at full speed. And this is at one time speed. Right now we're running at about one-fifth of the normal speed. If I try to increase that, it just, it's not happening. But right now my CPU just says that there are 5,000, over 5,000 threads running. What if I just close everything else on my desktop? Now we've lowered the number of threads by about a thousand. And now I'm just experimenting here, but let's just do, let's just do this. Okay, again, it's not really having an effect. Oh, look at how many- look at how many threads we've opened up. Well, I think we've done about everything that we can. I mean, we have a few minor problems in the colony. Let's just ignore all of that and get on with our lives. We still have snacks, we're learning, and we're keeping the ball moving. They love it here. So let's just focus on what we're good at. Hewing large portions of rock. We're great at that. Let's destroy all of the mountains on the map. That way there can't be any obstacles in our way and we Hopefully won't crash my computer and while still making some progress along the way. That way we, we, you know, we liquidate our stores of rock. At least that's how I'm looking at it. Oh, this is great. The game's running again. God knows how. I've de undesignated almost everything. They're finally bringing in rice. Oh, you love rice. You love rice. You can't get enough of it. Oh, this is fantastic. I don't even know why the game is doing this now, but suddenly everything's going smoothly, running swimmingly. Maybe because they're using up the last of the smoke leaf. And now moving on to the, uh, Psychite tea. I can't believe we're actually running at 60 ticks per second again. I'm proud of this computer. After my supporters, I'll name this the AA Organization. Trademark. It seems the utilization of the last of the ambrosia, the smoke leaf, and the psychite tea, as well as the beer, is causing the game to begin to speed up again. Either that or I'm just seeing everything faster because of the inhalation. Next it occurred to me that they actually walk slowly in the dark, so we're going to start putting lamps everywhere. Okay, this place is starting to somewhat make sense. Good, now there's enough work to go around for everyone. And let's connect everything with a perpendicular set of mines. One going lengthways and one going long ways. And then if we just drag a path straight through our field, this should speed them up. There we go. Now we won't have to take so long to walk to work anymore. Gets rid of farms, but it just makes the whole place a massive high, super highway. And I don't really know why, but I just feel like I need a giant cross going through the middle of this colony to make me f to make me feel like movement is uh, happening. When was the last time we talked about my feelings? All right, begin the super highway. Someone has created a masterwork bed, and it already looks like this is speeding up our colony by a lot. Homelessness is going. It's just homelessness now. It's not even. It's not even people without beds. This is a. Uh, this is a country. Well, that's pretty good. They've actually managed to complete a super highway around the colony in just a matter of minutes. However, I gave them wood because it just- it would be cruel to not give them wood here. They need it to build their bedrooms under the mountain. Though two of my colonists have now gone on a murderous rage and that starts- it's becoming more common on- uh, it's a trying time. It's a trying time. Unfortunately, freedom is paid for in blood and murderous rages are paid for in murder. Oh god. Oh, here it comes. Okay. I'm just gonna let it- let's just- Observe the ecosystem as it happens. Look for the names in uh, pink. There goes another murderous rage right there. Look, everyone's fleeing in fear. Maybe they'll just run away from him. They're all identical. They're all the same speed. 
Shouldn't they? Yeah, good. Get away from him. Oh, here comes a few more. Oh, wait a minute. We still have drugs, everyone. Don't get so ahead of yourself. There's still beer. There's still... We're all having a good time, right? It's all right. You know, Charles Darwin told us that this would happen. Oh, God, look what that one is doing. He's just terrorizing those other ones. What will happen if both murderous rage guys run into each other? Will they... It's like two birds with one stone here, people. They look away in fear. Oh, wow, look, this is the murder guy is run into the insulting guy. So this is like the perfect storm. We're going to destroy one problem <laughs> with two guys. We're going to beat two problems with one guy right here. One of them will die. Yes, you'll regret insulting that guy in murderous rage. Except I wish that there were a better default uh, reaction to running away from people with a murderous rage in this game. Because now they seem to be cornering themselves over here. These ones have all run down a, a single hallway. And it looks more like a simulation now. Oh, uh, we'll still have like 900 left. He, why, who started this fire? Oh great, look, he went into a murderous rage at a boom rat, then he went on fire, just desserts. Oh, I was waiting for this moment. Two murderous rage guys. <laughs> that one murderous rage guy is just, he's coming back to his senses having seen the fire murderous rage guy go into a murderous rage. <laughs> Finally got a hold of him. No, his murderous rage. How much concentration on anger do you need to go on fire and then still decide that you want to murder someone. Look, this guy's cleaning in the middle of the fire. This is where the AI is at. Can it even catch up to what's going on? There's a lynx right behind him, too. The lynx is just watching the fire, though. The lynx has decided it is, doesn't care. Doesn't care, doesn't- and never has cared in years. And we still had all this psych IT. Why didn't we need this? Okay. All right, I'm taking off all the stops. You know, get, let's get a hold of ourselves, people. Have as much as you need, just everybody's gonna come for this section of the colony again. But if I can prevent World War Four, probably worth it, considering all the things that are going on. I wonder what would happen if I just let the colony go here. <laughs> Look at this one guy is chasing everyone down a hall. Terrence McKenna was right. There will be a party at the end of Civilization. All that work, and I can't imagine, why is the game not even speeding? I'm just gonna let it go, and there's no sense in trying to fight it now. Oh, this is fantastic. Oh, what do you- what has happened here? Someone- who died? Wait, uh, calm down. This is like when a kid throws up at school and all of the other- You see everything around the throw up, but you don't see the throw up itself. All of these guys are cowering in fear. You can trace a line from the center of the- Cowering, is it this guy? No. Death. There were about two deaths. Yeah, there's one death. There's another death. And another de Okay, this is gonna be a damper on the colony, of course. Let's see how it's going with Guy. He okay, five colonists have died. This is gonna bring them down almost as bad as the psychic- Oh no, the psychic drone has actually ended. That's weird. Oh, so things should come around now. Oh, oh wow. It's like a convention where everyone cosplays at this, the same character. I'm just gonna draft, then undraft everyone. I think my computer is going to blue screen now. Oh, it's like the Hebrew exodus. Look, this guy's trying to murder people in the middle of the drug haze. You can't do that. You would be- so so high. You would be so high that you couldn't even- you wouldn't even know who you are in the middle of this thing. Like, he's still so focused. I, I don't want to say that it's over. It's not over till it's over, but clearly I have only so much power as a player. You know, everyone has given up or is going on a murderous rage near the drugs. This is like the cornucopia in the Hunger Games. Just, I, I think I'm just going to let the computer run. I'm going to be back in a few minutes. We'll see what's still left of the colony. Who's, why is everyone hurt over here? Did you, did you cut yourselves on the rice? There's blood all over the ground. There's a dead guy in the hallway. Nobody's taking responsibility for this, but there's a murderous- that is actually quite menacing. He's coming down the hallway and there's a dead end down there. So this is the end. Well, mass psychite addictions, swaths of men cowering in fear from a man insulting them, a scary man chasing a bunch of other men down a hallway, and then another scarier man chasing men even deeper down the hallway, deeper down the hallway. I'd say that's just about the end. My CPU has kind of kicked it. But I miss doing these insane challenges. What will it be next? 100 Roombas? Animals only? Let me know what other challenges you want to see, and I'll read them. Until then, I wait with great anticipation for the day. As always, thanks to viewers like you. And a majestic, overwhelming thanks to my patrons. For when we are all united one day, there will be a celebration with hooting and hollering in the streets, and there will be peace again. As always, I'm Ambiguous Amphibian. Until next time.